Military veteran Russell Nelson fell on hard times. It was during this lowest point that Russell reconnected with his true love and began to turn his life around. take life one day at a time, uh, learn that the hard way, <laughs> but uh, and uh, never take for granted uh, what's given to you. Always be grateful and uh, humble about it and uh, make the most of what you do get and work with it and make it your own. When I do wake up in the morning and I look around and I am just astonished of where I was and what I am now. And as I said, you know, just be, be, to be grateful for what I have and the opportunities that's coming my way, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming sometimes. I just lay there in bed and just like, wow. And I really had no direction and I went to the Army, started talking to the recruiter there, and um, they talked me into doing uh, the Chemical Corps. So, and they told me that, you know, all, all I'd be doing is just showing people how to wear their gas masks and work in a company, company level and have my own office, whatnot, you know, and just train people in chemical warfare. So I was like, wow, cool. I ended up uh, in a really bad situation. Uh, I was in, I went to Europe after schooling and I ended up, uh, it's kind of classified, but it was <laughs> not what they told me it was gonna be. So uh, I spent three years in the military, and mostly in Europe and Germany. And um, when my time was up, I just went ahead and got out. The transition from military to civilian life, uh, it was kind of hard. And I had to go back home to mom and dad's, you know, uh, for a while. And I took uh, mediocre jobs here and there, you know. And uh, I started drinking heavy. It was more or less a chore, you know. I wouldn't even get drunk anymore. For the most part, like the happy-go-lucky drunk, you know. You know, you you know, you have your faculties about you, but you know, it got to the point where yeah, I would drink and I would black out, and you know, then then I finally realized, hey, look, you know, you know, this is starting to be a problem, and I need to address it. As older as I got, you know, I drank more, you know, and um, then a few times it did become a problem. That's when I found myself homeless. And that's the worst feeling in the world to end up with, you know, the clothes on your back and a little duffel bag. That's it, you know. What the hell am I going to do? I was staying at the, the Goodwill out in the Tri-County Tri area, Springfield. I was uh, drinking there. And um, the director, Lee, he, uh, he pretty much put his foot down. He's like, look, you know, Russ, you're a nice guy and everything, but you're heading in the wrong direction again. Yeah, but we can see it. Uh, I'm gonna tell I wanna call somebody and have you go to this place I know. He was an alumni, he went there. And um, I said, okay, that's fine. And that's when Joseph House came into play. The Joseph House, the staff, the counselors, everyone there really and truly want to help you. I got to the Joseph House and started going to the painting classes with Sarah, the uh, art therapist there, where I uh, actually started sitting down and got, you know, warmed up to painting again. I try to make my art, my painting, my own. You know, it's my style. You know, I got it down now to a, to a science, 
to where, you know, I, I can do a painting in one day. No problem. You know, it, it's just the knowing. And also, it's, it's a natural gift. Art for me is basically my life. It is. It, it, to me, I, I believe this with all my heart that it's what I'm supposed to do. Being able to do what I do and having other people enjoy what I do, that, that's, I don't want to sound, make it sound like it's self-serving, but in a way it is. You know, I, I, in my own mind, you know, <laughs> in the dark recesses of my studio, you know, I'm happy. The world gives, you give back. You know, and not only, you know, in what you do in life, but you personally as a person, you know, you have to be able to love people. First, you got to love yourself, but, um, but you have to give back to humanity in this world, be fully whole, and, uh, to be kind. I'm fortunate enough. My art, my art therapy helped me. It got me back on track, you know, and got me to where I'm going now. But you have to find what you're looking for. You can't find it in a bottle. You can't find it in a needle in a crack pipe, whatever. That's not you. That's just an outside influence that's holding you back. You know, if, if you care enough about yourself, you will not have an outside force dictating how you live. You should, you, can't, you just can't do it. In order to be um, a contributing factor in society. Nowadays, you know, it's sink or swim. So the choice is up to you, but you have to make that choice.